Hi, it's Barry Neal here. I'd like to invite you to my next webinar, which is on the subject of working with depression using NLP and hypnosis. This is a really, really important area to work with. And I know a lot of therapists kind of shy away of working with people with depression. And in fact, some hypnosis schools tell you, oh, you shouldn't work with depression. Well, yeah, you should, because these people really need your help and you can help them. Certainly you can help them better than the typical drug therapy. So it is an area that we can do a tremendous amount of good with. So here's what we're going to be covering. We're going to be looking at what are the real causes of depression? If over the last 20, 30 years, the whole um, notion of depression has been that it's been caused through an imbalance in the chemistry in the brain. We're going to be looking at that and, and seeing if that really makes any sense. Um, because all is not what we're being told. We're going to look at the subject of secondary gain. Now, a lot of times you'll hear people, therapists, saying, oh, well, there must be some sort of secondary gain to having this particular problem. Well, we're going to look at that um, because all, again, is not what it seems. So we're going to be looking then at, well, what is it? And a lot of times it's about unmet needs. These are really important. And if you don't understand human needs psychology, you really should look into it because this is why people do why they why they do what they do and it's a really important area if you don't know it we're going to cover it in this so that you can have a, a, an understanding of what is really going on and why are people st staying depressed when clearly they don't want to be depressed we're going to look at one of the fastest ways to change a person's state and that is the use of physiology now if you studied nlp you would probably have been over this a number of times but it's really important when we're working with clients is to really get this ingrained into their physiology. And sometimes the old lie back and close your eyes and relax, relax, relax is the exact opposite of where we need the clients to be because we don't want to get them into a resourceful physiology. And lying back being relaxed is probably not that resourceful. Then we're going to define the real problem. A lot of times people will come in and say, I'm depressed. But when you start asking questions, you'll find, again, all is not what it seems. And a lot of times, it's a lot easier when you break it down because you're not often working with depression. You're working with something else, which is much, much easier to work with. But if you don't understand that, you could end up going down the complete wrong road uh, and wondering why what you're doing is not working. So we really need to define the problem in order to work with it. Then we're gonna look at some of the major emotions that um, if are not dealt with, if are not cleared, can often lead to depression. And these are emotions such as grief and guilt and regret and shame, remorse, these sorts of things. If people hold on to these things, it kind of builds up like a pressure cooker and then things go wrong. So we're gonna look at how to clear those types of things and how to deal with that very, very quickly. Then, You've probably heard this phrase, the problem is not the problem. Well, yeah, I agree, but that's not the full quote. The original quote comes from Paul Václavic in the book Change, which was one of the books that um, Bandra and Grinder obviously looked at when they were first looking at NLP. And the full quote is the problem is not the problem. The problem is how the client is trying to solve the problem. That's the problem. And this is often the case, that the strategy that the client is using to try and solve their problem is the problem. And when we work with what that is, find out what that is and why they're stuck, then we can take them off into a new, new direction and get them moving forward, because this is really, really important. Then we're gonna look at outcomes. Now, again, this is really important. So often, various forms of therapy want to keep looking at the past. Now, the problem with that with depression is that's already where they're looking. They're already looking in the past, going, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, and that's what's getting them depressed. We want to start setting a, an outcome for them. We want them to start looking in the future. And so we need to start building a new future for them and with ways to get there. Because oftentimes people, if they think about what they want, because they're depressed, they'll feel overwhelmed and think, yeah, but I want that, but I can't get there. And 
they give up before they're even trying. Or even if you ask the client, okay, what do you want? Oh, I don't know. You need to get past that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you some strategies to get past that and to start and get them moving forward. Then we're gonna look at how to change internal dialogue. A lot of times people will be talking to themselves. You're probably not aware, or you might be aware, I don't know. Um, the anxiety and depression are quite linked. There's a, a, a similar sort of thing going on there. And that internal voice that tells them that they're not good enough, that they're not lovable, all this sort of thing, uh, that internal voice is in, in their head is, is their, often their worst enemy. So we need to be able to work with that. We also need to have other strategies for getting them to feel good about themselves, to love themselves. So we're gonna be covering all of this in this webinar. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but if you've been on my previous webinars, I cram stuff in. There'll be no pretty metaphors. There'll be no multiple embedded stories or anything like that. You're gonna get everything dumped on you. I'm gonna give you so much information that when you leave the webinar, you'll, ha you'll have all this stuff and you think, wow, I really know how to help people because you'll be learning specific methods to help them. You're not going to just be hearing me saying how great I am. You're going to be learning skills that you can literally use with your next client to transform the way they think. So if this is something that you want to do, sign up now because this is going to be a great webinar. It's going to really transform the way you work. If, if you've struggled with depression before, or even if you've worked with depression before, but thought maybe I could have done something else, then this is the webinar for you. So it's gonna be about two, two and a half hours long, depends on how fast I speak and how, how many questions I get. But we're gonna be covering a heck of a lot of material. Uh, let's say if you've been to one of my previous seminars, you know how much material I cram into the seminar, the webinars. So you're gonna get loads and loads of material. So please sign up now if this is something you wanna do. If you have any questions, by all means message me and I'll be glad to help. So just sign up now. Hope to see you soon and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments.